Hey guys, Chloe is here. Um, so what am I doing today? Oh, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, of course. Y'all know. This is why I constantly check every once in a while. I'll like stand up from my desk, check, make sure I'm recording. Or if my husband's around, I'll ask him if it's recording. But anyways, the green here is eucalyptus. And I'm using royal for the pink. These are both rebel colors. And this wasn't the best Manny in my opinion, but I had, I did a poll or a question situation on Instagram and asked you guys if you would still be interested in seeing this. And all of you guys said yes, so here we are. Um, I am uploading this video. So, anyways, um, I'm doing two layers of these colors if i'm not mistaken sorry guys it's been a while since i uh did this but we've got eucalyptus and royal i actually really love these colors together and i'll insert a picture here um i might have an obsession with this color combination because without even realizing it and planning it i wore a similar green shirt and some similar pink shorts together that's just like i think that it looks cute together i don't know my opinion whatever and i wore them together and i looked down and i noticed that my nails matched my outfit and i did not plan it but anyways <laughs> i might have a mild color combo obsession with these two colors Anywho, um, I do, so my go-to routine is always two dips. And if I feel like I need extra coverage, I do two dips of color and then a clear cap. But if I feel like I need extra coverage, um, and I don't want my nails to get too bulky, but I feel like I need an extra dip, what I do for the third color layer is I will pour over for whatever reason, pouring over gives you thinner layers as opposed to just dipping straight into the powder. So if I need that extra coverage but don't want my nails any th thicker or bulkier, I will um, just do a pour over for the third layer. And that's what I did. Clear capped. Whatever. Now we are getting into nail foil. So I really liked the way that one looked. And... <laughs> So this is pretty bad. Um, the first round of this, I did not like. So I liked the nail foil. The nail foil came out good. But then I decided that I needed some like extra like outlining of it. And you'll just see that. You'll see it. It wasn't great. So I'm just like cutting out the little sections. <laughs> These are my little eyebrow trees. Or out. Uh, wow. I brow scissors but it was the perfect size to small enough to get in there and you know without having huge scissors so i'm just taking out the parts of the design that i want to use and then lining it up on my nail like trying to figure out how i want to place it and i'm using a this is you do not need a light for this is a diy situation that I have here that I got from um Melissa from Melissa's Manny's I'll leave her YouTube down below but I watched a video and she um mixed her own like nail foil glue and what it is is it's half and half half tack it and I got that off of Amazon and then it's half water and you just let it dry you wait for it to dry, and then you stick, um, make sure, make sure, make sure, when you put these foils on your nails, do not put the design side face down onto your nail. You want to put it with the design facing up, because that's the way it comes off the paper. Um, and something else I did not do that I meant to and I think it would have helped some of the places adhere better was 
I forgot to clean the back side of it off. You can take some alcohol and just wipe down the back side of the foil paper to make sure that it's clean and there's no, no like dust or anything like that on it. Um, that way it will just, it's clean. It'll stick better, have a better, easier time with it, stuff like that. And so here I'm trying to put down the glue and I had that like big dot. So I don't, you don't want it like super clumpy or anything. You want it more evenly spread out. So I was taking my brush, wiping it off, dipping it back onto my nail to just get some of that extra off. And then when it's dry, you will do this. You just place it on there. Um design up design up don't forget and smooth it out some and you can use your finger you can use just something to really get in there and smooth it out to make sure that you're rubbing the design onto the glue but you do want the glue to be uh, dry first don't put it on wet just don't do it so here's where I had the bad idea. <laughs> I went and got my uh, acrylic paint pens and I thought, ooh, I'll add some gold to it and outline it and it'll just look really good. Don't do it. It literally, and I mean this, like, <laughs> it literally, you will see it, looked like poop. It did. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And I left it on for like, a few literally like 30 minutes after I did it and I went downstairs and I seen uh my uh best friend's daughter and she was like oh it looks like poop and I didn't even say anything about it and I was like yep that's it we're taking them off so I good thing I wear peel base peel base is the saving grace for a lot of my manis here recently um I popped those two nails off, I redid them, and I'm not going to show you, like, the whole process over again, because, uh, like, literally, you just watched me apply the foil to my nail, but I am going to show you how I went about adding a better situation to spice it up. But see, I'm like drawing it here and I'm thinking, mm, that's like not looking the way I want it to. Maybe it needs to be a little bit darker. So then I go and grab acrylic paint, a brown one, and try to like, I don't know. I tried to fix it. I don't know what was going through my mind and what I thought that it was going to do in fixing it, but I made it worse. So... Yeah, I uh, was like, well, oh, I didn't grab a uh, paint. I think I just, yeah, I just grabbed the brown marker out of there. And I was like, well, this will help. No, 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 it did not. <laughs> it really did not. And so, yeah, what I did to, after I popped them off and I re-dipped I reapplied pill base, I re-dipped, which again, I'm not going to show you because you just watched it. So I reapplied pill base, I reapplied, or I re-dipped, I re-did the nail foil as well, just on those two nails, not the whole thing, I'm just those two nails that had the design. And then I went and I grabbed, um... A dip powder so I picked um Cherish I believe from Revel because that's really the only gold shimmer that I have I'm pretty sure so that's the one that I do that I used and all I did was take a little bit of dip base and oh see yep I even tried to make it better by adding glitter to it, and it didn't do anything. So this is bubbly, and it's a sheer, just shimmer 
situation. I thought this might fix it. Nope, that didn't even help any at all either. So then I went on to take them off. Go through the process again. The second time, I do not apply bubbly because it didn't need it. I fixed it, didn't need it, didn't need the extra sparkle. So anyways, um, what I did was, um, I th- I'm pretty sure I used dip base, which we'll see here in just a few moments. I can't even, I actually can't even believe that I went through and actually finished this mani completely, like, top coat and everything, because I should have just done what I knew I was going to do the whole time and take my take those two nails off before finishing the process but I didn't um so yeah I'm using my sparkle co glossy 2.0 I love this um uh, dip top coat it's a really good one it self levels which is really nice the shine is gorgeous and I do I really 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 love this dip top coat so anywho um I guess I will just let this finish and I will come back when I get into the fixation or fix, the fixing of the two nails because yeah they need it Okay, guys, so I am taking my dip top coat, and I'm using this little bitty detail nail art brush. I got these five brushes and five acrylic detail brushes in the same pack for like $8 off of Amazon. Love them. I've also been using the acrylic detail brushes here recently um, because I've been trying my hand at 3D nail art. Anywho... Um, that's what I'm using, and I'm just drawing thin lines around the foil, and then I am dipping, am I dipping? I think I'm dipping, into Cherish. So, I am doing this, and this is another reason why I really like Burgo and Gem Liquids, they're not crazy slow drying, but they're not by any means fast drying either. You do have your time to do what you need to do. And so I wasn't in a crazy big rush doing this. I just did it. <laughs> like, just, you know, took a little bit of time and did it. Dipped into Cherish and then um, dusted it off. Clearly, I was out of camera focus area for a little bit of this. I'm sorry, but I figured I'd still include it so you could, because you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. So here you can, I try to stay on camera more so with this finger because I realized that I wasn't doing a very good job the first time. And so I'm trying to work just like, A little at a time because I didn't want to overload the nails with glitter. But that worked a lot better. And that was more so what I was going for as opposed to that weird crappy brown situation. (laughs) So this is what we ended up with. Like I said, not my best. But my son hit my table and moved my camera. Not my best. But not the worst either. Because if you guys watched my 
last few videos, you would know. But anyways, guys, this is my Love These Colors Together. My Manny. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.